Uh, this talk is joint work with a bunch of other people, so you can see them listed here. Uh, so uh, please, if you have any questions, uh, and they're burning questions, I'd like to stop and answer those rather than wait to the end. So, uh, Okay, so essentially, if you look at uh, the data generation that is taking place today, you can see that uh, we have a whole bunch of devices now connected over uh, different environments. So on one end, we have mobile wearable devices generating data at the volume of about megabytes um, to gigabytes of data. They consume about one watt of power and have processing capability of about, uh, about a gigaflops in the gigaflops range. On the other end, we have very high-end devices which are also connected to our network. So these are things like uh, essentially high-end devices could be medical equipment or even computational clusters. And these are often generating, generating data at the order of terabytes to petabytes. Uh, so terabits per second are the kind of bandwidth that these devices consume. And the power consumption is of the order of about 100 watts, for example. So the idea is that these devices need to channel their data through a network backbone into some kind of cloud platform normally. And the analytics, the capability is often then done in this cloud platform. So the idea is that there's, in, in, interestingly, increasingly, the sensing capability, which was normally, the, the sensors used to be big devices, right, that medical devices, but now increasingly, we can, people are embedding more and more of these sensors into our environment. So the idea is that there's increasing sensing capability being embedded closer to the phenomena being measured. So for example, there's a new IEEE, uh, uh, basically IEEE standards committee looking at Internet of Things and how Internet of Things can fit into ideas of cloud systems. And also, the idea is that there's also increasingly the ability to undertake some of this processing directly on these devices. So the availability of software-defined environments, the idea is that there's more and more support being made available to be able to do this, cap this processing on these end devices. And that opens up a very interesting challenge for cloud computing. And that's really what this talk is about. Uh, so the other part of this picture, the other side of this picture, is this idea of how do we integrate cloud computing with Internet of Things. So Internet of Things brings many things to many people. Right? It's one of those buzzwords that has a very wide semantics. So uh, there's a, uh, again, uh, my colleagues and, and probably people here in the room are, are very good at coming up with new names and new acronyms. So there's a new thing called Cloud of Things, which is an Internet of Things uh, uh, and fog computing. So essentially the key idea is what I just mentioned is how do we move capability to which is normally aimed at uh, focusing in a data center towards these devices? How do we move the cloud not just to restrict ourselves in the data center but move the cloud out to the edge of the network? And that's really the idea. 